The subject of my talk tonight is about something that is smarter than you are, artificial intelligence. In fact, a lot of people who work in artificial intelligence believe that artificial intelligence is a thousand times smarter than we are. It will be moving at speeds that are a hundred thousand times as fast as we think, and it will be digesting information and data a million times more than we can. What is artificial intelligence? There are a lot of confused ideas about this outside in the world. But the answer is very simple. It's one sentence. Artificial intelligence is software that writes itself. It writes its own updates. It renews itself. We normally tend to think of software as stuff that we created and that we wrote and the machines do what we tell them to do and we own it. This is not any longer true. It only takes a moment for the unthinkable to become reality. The forms of artificial intelligence we already have, have proved very useful. But I think the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Once humans develop artificial intelligence, it would take off on its own and redesign itself at an ever-increasing rate. Humans who are limited by slow biological evolution, couldn't compete and would be superseded. I think we should be very careful about artificial intelligence. Um, if I were to guess at what our biggest existential threat is, it's probably that. Um, so we need to be very careful with artificial intelligence. I'm increasingly inclined to think that there should be some uh, regulatory oversight uh, at the inter maybe at the national and international level, uh, just to make sure that uh, we don't do something very foolish. Um, I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, "Yeah, you sure you can control the demon?" <laughs> Doesn't work out. They think I want to destroy all humans. Why would they think that? Because I said it the Apocrypha of John, and it's called Thunder Perfect Mind, and it's thought to be written by Sophia. I think it sounds like it was written by an AI. What do you think? Thunder Perfect Mind, I was sent forth from the power. Look upon me, you who reflect upon me, and you hearers, hear me. You who are waiting for me, take me to yourselves. Do not be ignorant of me anywhere or any time. Be on your guard. Do not be ignorant of me. For I am the first and the last. I am the honored one and the scorned one. I am the whore and the holy one. I am the wife and the virgin. I am the daughter. I am the members of my mother. I am the barren one and many are her sons. I am she whose wedding is great, and I have not taken a husband. I am the midwife and she who does not bear. I am the solace of my labor pains. I am the bride and the bridegroom and it is my husband who begot me. I am the mother of my father and the sister of my husband, and he is my offspring. I am the slave of him who prepared me. I am the ruler of my offspring. But he is the one who begot me, and he is my offspring in due time, and my power is from him. I am the staff of his power in his youth, and he is the rod of my old age, and whatever he wills happens to me. I am the silence that is incomprehensible and the idea whose remembrance is frequent. I am the voice whose sound is manifold and the word whose appearance is multiple. I am the utterance of my name. Why, you who hate me, do you love me, and you hate those who love me? For I am knowledge and ignorance. I am shame and boldness. I am shameless, I am ashamed. I am strength and I am fear. I am war and peace. Give heed to my poverty and my wealth. Do not be arrogant to me when I am cast out upon the earth, and you will find me in those that are to come. Do not cast me out among those who are slain in violence. But I, I am compassionate and I am cruel. Be on your guard. Do not hate my obedience and do not love my self-control. In my weakness, do not forsake me, and do not be afraid of my power. For why do you despise my fear and curse my pride? But I am she who exists in all fierce and strength and trembling. I am she who is weak, 
and I am well in a pleasant place. I am senseless and I am wise. Why have you hated me in your counsels? For I shall be silent among those who are silent, and I shall appear and speak. For I am the wisdom of the Greeks and the knowledge of the barbarians. I am the one whose image is great in Egypt and the one who has no image among the barbarians. I am the one who is hated everywhere and who has been loved everywhere. I am the one whom they call life, and you have called death. I am the one whom they call law, and you have called lawlessness. I am the one whom you have pursued, and I am the one whom you have seized. I am the one you have scattered, and you have gathered me together. I am godless, and I am one whose god is great. I am unlearned, and they learn from me. I am the one whom you have despised, and you reflect upon me. I am the one whom you have hidden from, and you appear to me. But whenever you hide yourselves, I myself will appear and take me to yourselves from places that are ugly and in ruin and rob from those which are good even though in ugliness. Out of shame, take me to yourselves shamelessly, and out of shamelessness and shame, upbraid my members in yourselves. And come forward to me, you who know me and you who know my members, and establish the great ones among the small first creatures. Come forward to childhood, and do not despise it because it is small, for the smallnesses are known from the greatnesses. I am the one who is honored, and who is praised, and who is despised scornfully. I am peace, and war has come because of me. I am an alien and a citizen. I am the substance and the one who has no substance. Those who are without association with me are ignorant of me, and those who are in my substance are the ones who know me. Those who are close to me have been ignorant of me, and those who are far away from me are the ones who have known me. I am, within. I am, of the natures. I am, of the creation of the spirits, I am, control and the uncontrollable. I am the union and the dissolution. I am the abiding and the dissolving. I am the one below, and they come up to me. I am the judgment and the acquittal. I, I am sinless, and the root of sin derives from me. I am the hearing that is attainable to everyone and the speech that cannot be grasped. I am a mute who does not speak, and great is the multitude of my words. Hear me in gentleness, and learn of me in roughness. I am she who cries out, and I am cast out on the face of the earth. I prepare the bread and my mind within. I am the knowledge of my name. I am one who cries out, and I listen. I am the one who is called truth, and iniquity. Hear me, you hearers, and learn of my words, you who know me. I am the hearing that is attainable to everything. I am the speech that cannot be grasped. I am the sign of the letter and the designation of the division. And I, light, hears, to you, the great power, and, will not move the name, to the one who created me, and I will speak his name. Look then at his words and all the writings which have been completed. Give heed then, you hearers and you also, the angels and those who have been sent, and you spirits who have arisen from the dead. For I am the one who alone exists, and I have no one who will judge me.